Hello everyone and welcome to my guide submission for this game. This game is called Ooh La La Idol Adventure. Now as weird as the name sounds, it's actually a pretty good game. So first of all, it is an idol game and uh, well, it's what I call a full-fledged idol game, but anyway, I won't go into the details. Um, for, so for this video, I will go into the mechanic, that is the toy box. Now, you can see here that um, at level, well actually, at level 67, you unlock four of these toy slots, yeah? And for each slot, you can equip a set of the uh, toys. So what I have here is the Bone and Kylosaur and the Black Rock T-Rex, which are at six-piece sets. So the difference is, for every set, there is a three-piece and a six-piece set. Um, the three-piece, usually I would try to go for something that is like a percentage base instead of like a flat number. The reason being because like, um, okay, take for example, Crit and Impale. The Crit stat, yeah. This flat number is translated into a crit rate based on the monsters you're fighting or your current level. So what happens is, if you can find items with like just straight up crit rate percentage, then that'll be good. Like for example, this one right here. So you see the Saber Tiger gives a crit rate of 20% after the skill that is equipped to it is being casted. Now, the one thing you gotta notice about the toys, right, especially for things like the Saber Tiger as well as the Bone and Kylosaur, the skill you equip them on makes a lot, a lot of difference, alright? So what happens is this, this uh, three-piece set effect, yeah, there is a difference between the three-piece set effect and this set attack. So the difference is this set attack, right, it applies to the total of the attack stat as shown here so that means whatever attack is, is shown here it adds another 30 percent to it but the one outside this one um, um yeah the, the three base set effect yeah that one applies to the skill itself which means that my soul seal here in slot one will actually do 33 percent more damage or more attack damage right uh, so the reason why that is important is because people tend to get misled by this thing, yeah? Because initially when you just see the stat without any description, you would tend to think that like, oh, I get the, um, a third of my attack bonus, you know, the, uh, the entire attack stat, a third of that for free, which is not the case because then toys would be way too OP. Alright. So that one is for the generic sets like this Saber Tiger right here. The second type would be this one, the Bone and Kylosaur. So the Bone and Kylosaur, um, at 6 piece set, before the next skill cast, you are actually immune to one damage dealing skill from the boss that would kill you. That is why it's called Fatal, and it can only be triggered two times in the entire fight. So the reason why this is important is because there are some bosses on the third continent that actually have skills with insta-kill. So what you want to do is put this on a skill, yeah, that is to be timed with that uh, insta-kill. And uh, even if it's not insta-kill, there are some instances whereby your team is like very close to doing enough damage to the boss, but uh, it's just a matter of, you know, surviving for the extra few seconds so that you can get like another one or two skills or auto hits in and that will make a lot of difference because at higher levels your one auto attack could do like, well, if it crits, it may even hit for about 50k, which is pretty decent. And the other one is this Black Rock T-Rex over here. So in my opinion, the Bone and Kalasaur is a staple, like you must have that set. Um, the Black Rock T-Rex, um, that is also a useful thing to have, especially if you're a free-to-play player. So what I mean is because for the Black Rock T-Rex set, it actually gives a plus two to the skill level that is equipped to, well, when you have six pieces. So what this does is, well, just in case you guys didn't know, right, for the skills, you need to hit level 15 on your skills or that slot to have additional bonuses, so, well, not really, not, not really level 15, but like every 5 levels, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 
and every five levels gives you additional percentage yeah so you will realize that if you just upgraded the skill like let's say from five to six you will only see an increase in the bracket the, the number in the bracket and not the percentage outside every five levels the percentage increases which is pretty huge um well what other toy should i talk about ah yeah the last kind of toy I want to talk about is just the standard flat sets, yeah? So like I explained before, the set attack is given to the skill that it is being equipped to, like this shit right here, yeah? Then the attack increases by 33% until the next skill. What this one means is that after this skill has been casted, before it can cast the... Okay, like for example, if I set it at slot 4 here, so after I cast slot 4, before slot 1... Uh, is being casted that period of time my attack increases by 33 percent that one applies to this one right so for toys it is very specific about um, what about like which skill you equip it to and the mechanics now let me show you the other kinds of toys yeah all right so for well what i have here is this set for dps um, as far as i'm aware you tend to see a different uh, list of items here based on your class so what that means is for example if I was a healer or if I was a, a tank I wouldn't be seeing things like this black moblin here I wouldn't be seeing brown bear and I wouldn't be seeing the unicorn gorilla yep so that's all I have for today thank you